promise me, Britt, you go next. Um, I'm Britt, a director of program at America's Future Foundation. <laughs> My question was more along the lines of if you just started a company or you just started a project and that sort of thing, when is it appropriate or what kind of tips do you guys have as far as like outsourcing things that you could do yourself but like really just have an opportunity cost elsewhere? Like when do you know when you've reached that point? it seems a little bit difficult, you kind of want to do everything by yourself because it's a little bit cheaper, but it's not maybe in the long run. Do you guys have any advice or tips for that? Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd love to speak on this. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a balanced thing, again. Um, sort of the sooner you can start delegating stuff, the better. Um, again, if, you, if you've had experience doing that in previous jobs or, or, or with this project, I mean, any time you can delegate is, is, is always better. That's my opinion. I think you have your own internal, I, I consider it an internal price mechanism that changes all the time. So I have like my own little stock market on the inside where it's like, is this worth $50 to me right now or not? Because I could outsource it or I could do it. Like some days my time isn't worth very much and some days it's worth a lot, right? So I think you kind of learn to like check in with yourself on a case by case basis of like what's a better use of your time because there's things are moving so fast and there's all, the parameters are changing all the time that it's hard to say like you know and, and sometimes you just don't have the money I mean most of the time for me I just there has not been money to outsource it so I always fix the toilet you know it's like I've learned a lot about toilets because I don't want to hire somebody to fix them and I got a lot of toilets so you know they're just things you you have to figure out because you don't have that option once you have the option then that's great but uh, I think it does change all the time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but just to, just to clarify that a little bit, I, I mean, sort of delegate whenever possible, and when possible, you know, when you have somebody better than you yeah, to do sure. it. You know, yeah. if if there's nobody, if there's nobody who can do it better than you, yeah. you definitely do not want to outsource it or or delegate it because, you know, you're going to do it best, and your customers, you know, matter most, and if they're going to get an inferior product, if somebody else is doing it, then you know, it's definitely not worth sacrificing that. Yeah. So. That's the big challenge with us. More than cost, you know, for what we do, it's quality. So to quote the great Puff Daddy, uh, he said, it's coming out of Bad Boy, it's on fire. <laughs> now, Bad Boy, I think, has gone under, but, uh, you know, we, we sort of adapt that. We're like, we it's don't want <laughs> It doesn't impact the story at all. Yeah, but don't worry about that. It was a good point when, uh, while they were on top of the game. Um, but um, <laughs> he... Uh, <laughs> uh, we, I mean, that's our, we don't want to do anything unless we really believe in it and, and it's awesome. And that's all, I think, I believe, you know, fervently that's only going to be good for our brand and the type of opportunities that we have because of holding on to that. However, that makes it really hard to grow and it makes it really hard to, you know, trust other people and there's issues with it. So we're still battling with that from a quality standpoint. And I mean, what we're finding is it just takes time of, you know, getting di different talent in our system, in our culture, I mean, a year or two, three years or never, you know, so um, we're erring on the side of caution with it, but it's, a, you know, it's probably not that different. I mean, we have a brand and we need to continue to project, it, it, you know, it's like, all the same. Just, yeah, it's all the same, really. It's all the same. I, I mean, you know, it's sort of this balancing thing, right? Like if you go too fast in, in your delegating, then you fail, you know, your company fails. If you go too slow, you don't grow. So yeah. it's, it, it's, just, it's just a balancing act. And that's part of what, you know, your job as an entrepreneur is to sort of see, okay, I can, I can do this or I can't do this. I mean, yeah, ultimately it's gonna fall back on you, right? like you said.